Okay, so in front of us we have a score called New Light 1, which sounds like this. Also in front of us we have an animation which begins like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing and Evolving Spaces, Episode 16, Chapter, New Light, Inspire, Wellness, Look, Project. We re-entered by reflecting that we've been thinking about next compositional approaches and themes, watching a video on composing approaches, and re-listening to some of our work to date. We're also doing some new physical body exercises, which have to do with physical awareness of posture and tone and all that. And we're noticing there is a similarity, we think, in sound and expression through movement, which example, breathing. Abdominal bracing is used in singing, but it's also used in posture. Um, this new connections awareness has been reflecting in how we communicate on multiple channels, multiple dimensions, multiple variables, which is a theme we've had before, which also has come into play because we're getting ready to do a panel participation on defining the metaverse. So in any event, we ended up doing some animations that used a 3D mesh. This is one that we posted recently. And what was interesting about this is we sent it for feedback and got some really good uh, feedback from people. We also used a prompt, what do you feel? And we said, how about hints of celebration, anticipation, and exotic? The feedback we got ranged from uh, anticipatory of something big happening, uh, something that makes you uneasy but still excited, all the way to it sounds like fingernails scratching on a blackboard. I can't stand it. So as per our policy, all feedback informs us and we sit back and eat popcorn and enjoy the feedback no matter what. So that was a series of using slowly rotating 3D meshes. Then we started on a composition called New Light One. And uh, we're gonna show that to you in a bit. And also, we were using our smartphone, and it has a little uh, piano app that has a nice ooh, ooh, ooh sound that we cannot duplicate at the moment in our desktop apps. So, results. We made the Grace 2 animation, we recorded the score, and we recorded the uh, visual animation which we just showed you a minute ago, sent that out for feedback. We continued exploring our custom scale, the A-flat, 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 4, 6, and made the New Light 1 score, which we showed you at the beginning here. This is all sweep synthesizer, and it consists of all the dyads in that custom scale. And the trick is that we're, we're playing it with the first note on the bottom. And then we're playing it. And they sound different. And this pick carries forward our idea of when you have only uh, six notes jammed together in the scale, you have to jump an octave or more to hear differences and draw out possible nuances of expression. So that's what we did. It was 15 dyads, each voiced both ways. And they're kind of sorted by function mode and all that. And then we just let, went through and let them all play and labeled them. And then we animated them. So we did that. Uh, we, we also completed pr 
preparations for defining the metaverse, and we even made a new avatar look to go with that. We should have had this loaded to show you a minute ago, but we didn't, so we'll load it right now. Uh, the feature of this is that there's some new system mesh avatars in uh, our Metaverse app called Second Life, and 3D mesh is basically how 3D modeling is, is done online. So a mesh is like a net, a net of lines, and then you fill in where the lines cross with triangles or rectangles. And um, to make a long story short, this is a, one of our new avatar looks. And we dressed professionally to give a presentation later today. So we like this. We like the hair. We like the, um, we, well, we're hoping eventually that there will be some customization involved. But the beautiful thing about this is you didn't have to buy it. It comes with the free account with Second Life down here in the library. These are called the Lenar avatars or Senra avatars, I should say. And at the moment, there's a male and a female, and they each come with 400 things you can use, but it wasn't too hard to figure out what to use. And it's an introduction to using mesh avatars. The avatars you get up here in Second Life are um, the... Uh, Okay, how do we say it? They're all mesh avatars. The difference is these avatars are kind of older school, and the newer avatars like this actually let you uh, animate the fingers uh, separately, and blah, 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 blah. But who cares? What we're happy about is we've got a new look avatar here. So now we have yet another look to go. These are all the different looks that we have that we have used over the episodes and years. That's the one that's blue right now. So we got that done. And we wrote a script to go with it. So what we're going to do to bring us home is show the animation that goes with New Light 1. So here we go. So this ends today's episode. <coughs> there are a couple of things that we like about this animation in particular. We like that it... Um, let's see if you can just play it without sound. Uh, we made that model. We call it the Foghorn. So uh, in the previous animated 3D meshes, we had to go find them online, which was good. That was good. Uh, and we still have a preference where possible to
to create as much as we can ourselves, which is, of course, impossible to create all of it. We like the three foghorn effects that was inspired by our earlier dialogue with uh, Panic Studio, where we actually watched a video of a real live foghorn. And it made us think of, wouldn't it be cool if we could, you know, have a horizon where these foghorns were playing? The, t the trouble is that we don't want, we only want the, the green and the red one to show <laughs> when it's their turn. And, 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 the re and they're triggered, they're being triggered by these notes down here. When they're hitting certain intervals, the 111 interval in particular, or the 210 interval. So a lot of moving parts, I guess, and we like that. And we also like, as we said, using all possible dyads and a custom scale. So our ideas for next time are, uh, we have something called the New World theme, which is associated with that horizon thing. We'd like, well, we'll talk about that more later. Uh, also an ooh sound for sketch composing. One of the things that are, uh, we like, Carl Irwin Music did a really nice, video on YouTube, we recommend it about writing music and approaches to writing music. And he talked about the idea of a sketch sound. So we usually sketch in piano or this time we sketched in a uh, sweep synthesizer. And then on our little smartphone, there's a ooh, ooh, ooh sound and that was really, we liked. So shout out to 3D mesh artists like those no 3D who helped us with the Grace 2 animation and music composition artists like Panic Studio. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.